So you've got loads of devices, phones, tablets, and so forth, and even a laptop and they've all got different connections. One's got a USB type A, one's got USB type C, one's got both. But the catch is you want to transfer data from one thing to another. But the problem is you need loads of adapters. Well, you don't if you go and buy this. This is a Cushion USB pen, which has got USB type A and USB type C. So the packaging itself is pretty straightforward. It says USB type C flash drive. I and mean, actually it's USB type A and USB type C. It says 64 gigabytes, which looks like a little sticker they've just put on the top, which will probably change depending on the model. It tells you you can transfer files, photos, music, videos, and so forth. The back is pretty generic. It just says two in one design with USB type C and USB type A connector, and it's multilingual. So let's have a look at the memory stick itself. So the rated speed of this is 90 megabytes on the read speed and 30 on the write. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to win any awards, but that should be fast enough for doing most things, especially for the size of the pen. They do have other sizes available as well. Now this you can use basically on most devices what take a USB type A connection, including, let's just say, in a car for your audio, on a laptop, desktop, a tablet, TV speakers, projectors, smart devices will take USB type C ports like Samsung S9 and above and so forth, which gives you a rough idea, tablets as well. So let's have a look. So you've got two caps on the end, which in all honesty, I think, they're a bit pointless because they're going to get lost. Who, whoever manages to keep hold of the caps, I don't know. But they, I always lose mine, to be honest with you. They always fall off or break or whatever. So personally, I don't see them being much good. I know they're good for keeping it clean, keeping dust out of them and dirt out of the actual USB connectors and stuff like that. But in all reality, they're going to get lost or broken one or the other. Also on the actual case, and there is a little hook here, which you could, I suppose, put through a key ring or put a little tie on there if you wanted. Now it is plastic. It's quite thin. I have a feeling that'll break pretty easily. Now that's the negatives basically. So the caps and that. I would have liked to have seen a way you could actually tie probably the caps onto the device. So let's say there was a little hook on here as well or a hole in it. So it tie onto this hole and this hole this hole here or hook to be probably metal or something like that. So it would actually not break and that way it keeps them together. There's probably some sort of like stretchy or uh, elasticated sort of string. Now the device itself, well, the outside doesn't show much, doesn't even tell you the size, doesn't even tell you the manufacturer's name or anything along that line. So if you were to get it out of your pocket, you would no one would know who made it or anything along that line. Now, obviously, you've got your USB type A on one end, which is this. This is your traditional connection you have on PCs and laptops for the last God knows how many years, 20 years or so. And then you've got USB type C, which is more of a newer thing you're getting on smartphones, tablets, and even laptops and PCs are getting the connections now, which in reality, the speeds of both sides are generally going to be exactly the same. It's just how you want to connect it up. And as most things with laptops and smart devices, as they get smaller, they need a smaller connector. And that's why they came out with the USB type C. Now, the advantage of this, you can use it on any device you want, really. So you can plug it into your laptop, which has got standard USB type A, and then transfer the stuff over onto your smartphone or vice versa. So you don't have to have two separate memory sticks or adapters. You can just use one and it does it all. The only issue I can see really is these caps and that little hook there. But otherwise it should be pretty good and do well what it says on the tin. And we're gonna do some speed tests now to see how it actually performs. Okay, so down to testing. We had a bit of a strange one here. Um, due to the issues we've come across, we've also formatted the drive in NTFS instead of XFAT, just in case it was anything to do with that, and we got the same results. Now, we've tested the USB memory stick using the USB Type-C connection as well as the USB Type-A connection, and we got basically the same results on the tests, so it's nothing to do with that, and also double-checked on another machine just to make sure. So using Atto, we can see here the read speeds are a lot higher than the quoted. They quoted 90 megabytes per second. We were actually getting 128, so nearly 130 megabytes per second, which is really, really good. But the right 
flight speeds were a little bit concerning. At the most, we got 15, but on average, it's going around about 8 megabytes per second, which was a lot lower than the quoted 30. And we did the same test again using the USB Type-A connection and got the same results. We also tested using Crystal Disk Mark. The read speeds, again, very good, 134, and again, same on USB-A and C, so about 134, 135 megabytes per second, which is really, really good, especially over the 90. But the write speeds using Crystal Disk Mark are actually showing faster than what it should be. So it was saying 30, and we were getting 46, compared to Atto saying we are getting around about 8. So we've done another test using H2 test W, and this basically writes information onto the drive. So we chose five gigabytes of information. And as you can see here, it was only writing at eight megabytes per second, where verifying, which is read basically, is 118 megabytes per second. This is more true to real life performance. Uh, we also did some manually copying as well, and the numbers added up. So if you were wanting to copy five gigabytes of data onto the memory stick, we were only running at eight megabytes per second, it would take over 10 minutes. Where if you were copying stuff from it or reading stuff from it, it would take 42 seconds. So as you can see, there is a big difference here. So why well, I won't say the drive's a failure, it is definitely a lot slower on the write speeds than it should be, but on the other side, the read speeds make up for it in that sense, because they're a lot faster than they should be. So it depends on what you're going to be using this for. So if you're wanting a memory stick you can take round and put in lots of machines and copy stuff from it onto another machine, then it's going to be really, really good. But if you're wanting to copy and save lots of stuff onto it, especially larger files, it is going to take quite a while to save those items onto it. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.